Alrighty, everybody, Pincushion Plane, the final expedition that I'm going to recap for you guys. And then pretty much from here on out, whenever I do an episode, they will be brand new expeditions for me. Um, again, from here on out with the episodes, there are going to be different changes on the layout of the videos because I will be doing it on a Nintendo Switch. But without further ado, Expedition 6 Level 1, score total of 3400, I currently have a team total of just under 6k, and that is using my Raichu for levels, so let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, so, we're going to keep it on auto, um, I believe this is the Expedition where I don't think I can use Raichu for the whole thing, I'm not 100% sure yet. Raichu should be able, my te this team should be able to get through the first couple of levels in Expedition 6, but um, I believe Raichu's going to get hopefully a level or two, and going to have to start bringing in Cloyster to finish off this one, because I believe the boss is a little bit too difficult for Raichu here. Alakazam loves this level though. The Drowsies. I believe there's a Hypno in this one. There's a Hypno as one of the bosses. I'm not 100% I'm not sure which level it is, but I believe it's the first one. These Raichu are kind of... I mean the Raichu. The Raticate are kind of out of place. I got a Raichu. Dude, Alec is ham doing some damage though. No lie, he does some actual damage now. The psycho cut is really good. Dazzling gleam's not bad either. I just need to get the right um Oh, it's a Persian on this one. Okay. I just need to get the right um items or gems for Dazzling Gleam to do some good damage. And be a little bit more useful. Well, Raichu might actually survive this whole encounter. Might speak too soon here, but... Just survive, Raichu, so I didn't speak. Thank you. Oh, wow. A 10k crit from the boy Alakazam. Expedition 6, level 1 completed. Let's get to the next one. Alright, Expedition 6, level 2, 3600 is the, uh, the team total score. Again, I currently have under 6k, so I'm still good to go. Alright, so, with that being said, fire types in this one. I don't really remember Expedition 6. And the layout of Expedition 6 is a little bit crazy to me. I believe there's one that has a Kingdra or a Seedra as a final boss. And that's going to scare me because if it is, I remember that one being pretty difficult for me to finish off. But I have leveled up quite a bit since the last time I've been able to do that. So I should be able to do it. But again, the Kingdra or the Seedra, whichever one it was, it was a definite problem when I was doing it for my first time. It was one of those levels where I had to, I had to do a couple of attempts to be able to complete it. Oh, is this the massive amount? Okay, no, it's just a sp three sparrows and a Fero. I believe the old levels were the ones that had like the tens of sparrows in it. It was like in recognition to episode one of Pokemon. I might go back and rewatch all the episodes again. There's, there's gonna be a day. Ooh, okay, so it's the Pidgeot one. Got it. Don't remember it. But all the Pidgeys are going to die here in like two seconds. Then we got a Pidgeotto to deal with. And another Pidgey that's just been in the background. The Pidgeotto is already done. That Pidgey's going to die. My Raichu's already been taken care of. Which sucks because it does have Thundershock. But I mean I have a level 50 Flareon and a level 40 Alakazam. They're going to be able to slaughter that Pidgeot. Which kind of sad. A 
edition six level three team total of 4200 i've just realized my team total is actually above boss total i think that's because i've leveled some of my po my uh, higher pokemon so raichu might be able to clear expedition six but after expedition six i don't care what level it is i'm bringing in closer for expeditions seven through ten because i have yet to complete those So sorry, Raichu, you're going to have to sit down and be humble for a bit and allow me to complete this game. I wonder if they're ever going to make some updates for this. I don't think they are, to be honest. I think this is like one of those games where it's just a mini game that's never going to be taken a look at ever again. But it was a great mini game for them to create. They've done a great job with it. Not 100% sure what the boss on this level is going to be, but I believe that was a bunch of Abras coming in from the background. Yes, it was. I mean, they disabled Flamethrower. I'm not going to hate. That was actually a good thing. Psycho Pet's about to smash through this level for me. Yep, Drowsies and Hypnos. This one was kind of annoying, but it wasn't the worst. My Alakazam is just really good against these guys. Especially with now Psycho Cut. He didn't have Psycho Cut back then. He had Psy Wave, so Psycho Cut's gonna smash through this. He one shots the little dudes. I wonder if Thundershock's ever gonna get a paralyzed effect off, even though it keeps using Surf. Ooh, the double nap. Okay, this is why this level was annoying. I, I remember now. I'm not playing it either, so I can't maneuver my characters to where I want them to be. Good, it was the Flareon that got napped. Alakazam, you can do more damage than that, please. There we go, that's about 6k. Ooh, I did see a lot of damage come out of that. That was a good one. Good work, team. Level 27. Expedition 6, level 4. Team total of 4,800. I currently have just under 6k still. Let's go ahead and see if we can complete this with Raichu. So far, it's been easy. Haven't really had a problem because Flareon and Alakazam are carrying me through this. The carries, fam. The carries. It's kind of odd saying carry when it's kind of... It, it's your game. That's doing this. You're just going back in time. I'm going back in time doing some of the older levels for video purposes as well as I need to farm maps for cooking. Uh, cooking's what's going to help me level up my current high guys. My Flareon and my Alakazam. So I kind of have a reason to going back and doing this. But I've done enough. After this we will get back into Expeditions 7 through 10. And we will be doing it on the Nintendo Switch, for those of you wondering. Why are you running away? Why are- Oh no, this is the explosions, bro. You are so lucky, Alakazam. You are just so lucky, my G. This is where the explosions come in, so... If you don't one-shot these bad boys, you're not gonna have a good day. The damage. My, my boy Alakazam, dude. That Psycho Cut is just next level doing some damage. Oh, Mr. Mime. Oh, I remember this. This was so bad. The Disables and the Mr. Mime just being so OP. If Alakazam can... Yeah, he's going to take care of the, the Hypnos. I thought they were drowsy because they were so small compared to Mr. Mime, but no, they're Hypnos. Use a fire blast. It's gonna walk right into it. Reminds me of uh, Torbjorn's ultimate. What was Flareon just? To oh, are they confused? I think it's confusion. Oh no, it's submission. 
I was trying to figure out, what were they attacking there? Yeah, it's submission. That's kind of what was annoying about this, too. Sweet. Another rainbow. Alright, Expedition 6. Level 5. Boss level. Team total of 5,700. I am just above that, so I believe I should be able to do it, and I believe this is where the Kingdra or the Seedra comes into play. Again, I'm not too sure which one it was. Don't really remember, but I remember it being a super duper pain because I had a Flareon. That's a fire type. I still do, but it's a lot higher level now. And I also had a really low level Alakazam. I think it was even a Kadabra or an Abra back then, to be honest. But now those two are like super high level and Raichu's pretty much getting carried. Interesting enough, I don't even think this is that level. I just think it is because there's so much water here, but I don't even know. We're finding a lot of Kadabras and Abras here, so this might be the one where Alec Kazam's at? And Alakazam wasn't easy, but it, I mean, it wasn't difficult. Yeah, I think this is going to be Alakazam, because there's a lot of Abras and Kadabras in this level. Alex versus Alex. Who's going to win? And the uh, the boss Alakazam actually has a good move set. One of the moves is good. He has Psychic, so it's devastating, fam. Alright, three more to go. Get an AoE hit. Oh, are you serious? Why do you keep missing? Kadabra keeps missing. I don't know why. I mean, Alakazam keeps missing. I don't know why. Well, here we go. I believe it is Alakazam because we're going to the top right. And that's where he hangs out. Yeah, it is. And I'm scared. I actually don't even know if we're going to be able to do this. Well, we didn't have Fire Blast and Flame... We didn't have Fire Blast back then. I know that for a fact. I mean, it's looking okay. My Alakazam is actually taking some huge L's. You need to Fire Blast. I think it knows Psychic and Teleport. And the Teleport's real aids. Oh no, it knows Psy Wave and Teleport. Uh huh. Thought it knew Psychic. I don't know why. Seriously, like a, a, a Paralyze or Burn would be great. This is gonna be a close one, but I think we're good. Yeet! Actually, all three of them stayed alive. Well, that was your last fight, Raichu. But thank you very much for tuning into that one, guys. Ooh, another rainbow. Damn, we're getting rainbows for days.